well, they've got their own standard contracts, you see. They, they build up their own standard packages. So when you're buying a house a design off the plan, that design already has its own inclusions contract as part of it. And then you add your variations into the back of that existing contract. But for that standard base model, they already have what you're going to get for that. So that's where those limitations are already put. So they're not doing it site specific. They just assume that generally you know, we do five metres of sewer to each sewer point, that's enough. Or there's 10 metres of stormwater, that's enough because that's based on a standard lot. But if you were to put that standard cookie cutter house onto a different type of block, then it doesn't work that way. If you have to do cut and fill because you've got a sloping block, that's not part of that standard price either. So that's a variation. If you've got to get rid of the dirt from your cut and fill, any uh, excess material, that's not in the contract price either. That's a variation. That won't be in your contract. It'll be a note in there that it's excluded and that it will be a variation. But they don't tell you what the value of that variation will be or if it's going to be say $400 per load taken away or is it per tonne, it's just, it's excluded. So a lot of stuff that says included, 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 has a limit to it. And that's the thing is, is we're, we're trained to stop at dollar signs. So if you're running down the list of what's in there and you see a dollar sign, you'll stop and look at it. But if it says included, you skim over it because you think, oh, it's included. But you're not really seeing that it's, there's a limitation to it. And a lot of people do get caught on those as well.